you had an amazing vacation in Israel. You visited all the holy sites, became spiritually recharged, and even attended Asha Torah's world-famous discovery seminar opposite the Western Wall. Well, you visited many old friends and relatives that you hadn't even heard about for many years. And when you first saw them, you said the blessing, Baruch Mechaye HaMesim, Blessed are you who brings the dead back to life. But since these weren't very close relatives, like a parent, child, or spouse, you said the bracha without using God's name. You also went to visit the Mount of Olives Cemetery, which overlooks the majestic Temple Mount. The Mount of Olives is the oldest Jewish cemetery in existence, with graves dating back to the Bronze Age. More rabbis and holy people are buried here per square foot than anywhere else in the world. Now, the Mount of Olives, by the way, was chosen as a graveyard because Jewish tradition says that the messianic resurrection of the dead will begin at the Mount of Olives. So upon seeing this, or really any Jewish cemetery, you recite the long blessing printed in the Siddur, Asher Yatzar Eschem Badin. Also on this trip, you saw some old destroyed synagogues for which you said the blessing, Baruch Dayan Ha'emes, Blessed is the True Judge. Now, there's a special bracha set upon seeing a beautiful synagogue that was restored after being destroyed. And a great experience in Jerusalem is the opportunity to say this special bracha. The Churva synagogue in the old city of Jerusalem was the main Ashkenazi synagogue from the 16th century right up uh, through the 20th century when, unfortunately, it was destroyed by Jordanian soldiers during the 1948 Arab-Israeli War. After 1967, when the old city of Jerusalem was restored to Jewish sovereignty, a high stone arch was erected where the Churva synagogue once stood. And this arch became a contemporary landmark of the Jewish quarter's central square. Now, as we speak today, the synagogue is being restored to its former glory, and that gives us the opportunity to say the bracha, which is said upon seeing a beautiful synagogue that was restored after being destroyed. We say, Blessed is he who sets a limit for the widow, Baruch Matzav Gvul Almana. But the highlight of your trip was that you got to visit for a few moments with some of the great Torah sages of our generation. And here you recited the blessing, Baruch Shechalak Mechamaso Lereyav. Blessed are you who imparted wisdom to those who fear God. Now, most of the time this bracha is said without actually pronouncing God's name, but uh, nevertheless, it's a wonderful experience if you get a chance to visit with some of our great sages. They're available and accessible, and you should make every opportunity to do so.